In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a drop down list here in Google Sheets. So let's say you're working on some data where you need to add a drop down to make it easier for you to select some options that you have instead of just manually typing it for each of your cells or each of your data right here. So we're going to do that and these drop downs will not be dependent on each other. If you do, however, want to create dependent drop down lists, I have created videos for that. You can check them out. I will be leaving a card at the top right corner of this video. So in this example right here, I have some members and I want to be able to create a drop down list where I can easily just select the membership type for each member. Also for the discounts, depending on their membership type. So I'm going to do that. We're going to start by selecting the range where we want to put in our drop down list, then go to data in the menu bar and select data validation. On the right side, you have your data validation rules. We're just going to click on add a rule. There we have it. We have our selected range right here and our criteria, which pre selects you to drop down. Now you have two ways on adding your drop down. You can have this by this criteria right here. Just a simple drop down where you can manually just type your options. So we have our membership types right here. You can have those copied, then paste it right here. Copy and paste. If you do want to add another item or another option, just click on this one right here. There you have it. Again, copy and paste. Add another item, copy, then paste. And there you have it. Now that we have our options, if we do go to our drop down right here and click on it, there we have the membership types that we can easily just choose from for that specific member. So let's say for this one, we have Jimmy. I think he enrolled for a monthly membership. For Mike, he had an annual membership and so on. So that's the first way you can do it. Now, let's say you want to remove this option right here. We have the staff. You can just go back to your data validations on the right if you haven't closed it yet. But if you have, let's say let's close that one. And again, you just want to delete this option right here. Just click on the edit button. And that rule will reopen on the right side with your data validation rules. So if you want to delete that option, you can just easily click on this remove value button right here on the right. And there you have it. Now, if I go back to this one, it's no longer there because we are just trying to edit this drop down right here. If I click on done, it will ask me apply to all. There are 12 other drop downs with the same properties. Do you want to make the changes to all of them? So you can apply the same changes that you've made to that one right there to the rest of your drop down. So you can select apply to all. If not, then you can just select just this instance, but we're going to go to apply to all. And now this has an error telling you that the input must be an item on the specified list. So if we select another one, that error will disappear. And there we have it. Let's start over and try and add the drop down with the other option. So again, select that range, right click on it. And this time we're just going to select drop down right here. And there you have it. Now we have the same data validation rules on the right with the same range that we've selected. And for the criteria, we're going to change it by clicking on that and selecting drop down from a range. There we have it. Now for this one, we have the space right here where we can select the range that will have the options that we can choose from for our drop down. So if I select the range right here, you'll have this pop up tab that you can move so you can select your range. There we go. We have that's F4 to F7. Click on OK. And there you have it. So it will automatically add all the options that you have selected from that range into your drop down list. If we click on done and click on a drop down right here, there we have it. It's automatically added again those options to your drop down list. So again, you can just select what type of membership that person has enrolled to. And we can do the same thing with our second drop down. Again, this is not dependent on each other. 
whatever you choose here will not affect your drop down right here. Again, if you want to check out our other videos on how to create dependent drop down list, I will leave the card at the top right corner of this video. So you can check that out after this one. Let's add our second drop down list. We've selected our range right here. We can go to add a rule on the right, or again, just right click on it and select drop down. It will do the same thing. This time we'll go right ahead with drop down from a range. Select our range right here. Move that pop up. Click on OK. Here we have those options 20%, 15%, 5% discounts, and even a free membership. Click on Done. And now if we click on the drop down, here are our options. And there you have it. So that's how to add a drop down list here in Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.